Swing. Uh -oh. Well, hello. Uh oh. He said, lunch. Hey, hello. He's got lunch. 11 right months out of the year. This is my home. What are you doing here now? Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> that no. is not a good place to be. Not in broad daylight. That's what is he doing? <laughs> I, I, I think he's waiting for the light to change so he can cross the road ah. quite a bit here. And look, that thing is knee high. Oh, it's huge. big. We did note it, it does have uh, um, a hurt wing. He's flying just fine, but when he lands, um, just not quite right. But And we're told it could be a she. We don't know. We don't know anything. <laughs> we're just, yeah. we're just yeah, kind of right watching much about right Alex. along with right. you. Caution in turn four, and it's car. Jimmy Johnson having trouble in turn four. Yeah, we just saw, just saw him going around him. Got a lot of damage to that left side, it looks like. I think he's going to have some damage to that splitter, too. He got yeah, in the grass pretty hard with cars. that. You can see it bent up there. The hood is not buckled, but I'm sure it's not good. It took a good divot. That's a divot, all right. I get Ooh, that. Gosh. Yeah, it's an odd place to see a car spinning. We believe he's just starting a lap. Let's see what happens. Crosses over the seam. Car gets a little loose, a little loose, a little loose, and then man wow. around she goes Boy. right down in front of Kurt and he, Bush. He made contact with Kurt Bush in Daytona. <laughs> oh <laughs> made gosh. contact again. That wouldn't be been good. But this is a, what Jimmy. Oh, yikes. What's amazing about Jimmy Johnson, he can save a car more than anybody I've ever seen. I'm, this guy, I've seen him spin and never hit anything. It was just unfortunate that the grass caught the nose because he actually did an amazing job saving the car again. What do we got a caution, guys? We do. And everybody's pulling back to pit road, waiting on the cause. See, 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 see. Oh, look at Harvey gets a little bit of the wall. Ooh, got a good bit of it. Tonight, Monster Energy Supercross. Oh, boy, David Reagan. Wow, right at the end of practice. What happened? Heavy impact with the right front. A minute and a half to go. Oak over there. Caution's out. Ouch. Oh, oh boy. Good. That's a hard hit. Now, as opposed to Harvick's, yeah. that has backup car written all over it. Definitely. That started right there just before he actually got to the corner. Looked like oh, he hit the wall a little bit as he got down there to turn three. Oh. Was it the right rear? Is yeah, I think in the right rear? Because, uh, Jeff, when we saw that shot, you see the car coming down the back straightaway, and it looked like something flew out from under it when he had, uh, got down to the end of the straightaway there. All right, we'll update the David Reagan story when we come back at 2.30 Eastern they're time. Increasing in their necks, especially a, a long neck like what Richard Petty had. But now these days, that's what oh, uh -oh. you see a spin. Kyle, Kyle, Bush. Kyle Bush. Coming out back. Here's what you need. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I'll get you. Well, if you want to know how on edge these drivers were, there you go. One of the best, and I, I've been watching some of his laps. He's been very fast, so he's got one of the best cars out there, one of the best drivers. Let's see what he does here. He's up high. Well, he just yeah, asked just, a little yeah, bit too just, much out of it, like Jimmy Johnson did yesterday in practice. The car just steps out. Nice big slide. You can see, you'll see smoke come out of the right rear, and you'll probably hear the RPM pick up. I mean, just like a locker down, whatever you need here. Lock it down. There's nothing coming out back. Use what you need. Now this was just the third lap of his run. He did a 20 lap run earlier. I love how calm he was right there. That's pretty amazing to be in a slide at 170, 80 miles per hour and just look as calm as Kyle Busch did and right someone, there. Someone Race fans, it is time for those most famous words in motorsports. Here to give the command, please welcome today's Grand Marshal, the Chief Operating Officer of Race Sponsor Service King, Stu Crum. Welcome to the Service King 300. Drivers, start your engines. day for Shannon Spank. All right, Joey Logano on the pole. First time for Team Penske here. Chooses the outside lane. Got a rookie and Daniel Hemrick beside him. Here we go. Big jump for Joey Logano. Two, three car lengths on second place. 
And what a what a move by Eric Jones just to fall in behind Hemrick. He had the speed to take him three wide, gave him a push, and it's going to pay off because Hemrick is clearing that outside lane and will be second when they hit the back straightaway. I love watching the cars blend off a of turn two here. The track really narrows up on you. You get three wide in the corner, and boy, you got to be careful off of two. I think I actually saw four wide. If you really wanted to count the lanes, I love that. Look at there, that's what I love. Look at Bubba Wallace and Brendan gone. They're off of the track on the apron, making passes, gone with a strong move off turn four. Kyle Bush in that bright blue and orange number 18, started 16th, is one here six times, not afraid early driving for Joe Gibbs. Yeah, we're gonna be talking about him all day, but especially here he at the three on the front end of this car and blow an engine with five laps to go. Oh, we got a spin here. Matt Tiff. Around in the 19 car. Oh, hold the brakes. To, God, get, it, get the brakes down. We can. Rookie of the year contender. Roll now this can. is where it gets interesting. Don't tear it up if this tires are flat. He was running 18th, six <laughs> laps to go in stage one, and we have our first caution of the afternoon racing here with Bubba Wallace in the purple six. Well, Tiff tried to get to the bottom of Bubba and then hold it to the left and get the gas down to complete the pass. It got loose on him and around he went. And I'm going to agree with Brad Kozlowski. Action's going to pick up here on pit road. All right, it's Yaley up there with Kyle Busch, Eric Jones, Elliot Sadler, William Byron. One lap to go to end stage one. And this could get crazy, guys. What One that, lap and a lot of points on the line. What that could have been was a rough break for Elliott Sadler lined up right behind the slower car on the old tires of Yaley, but Elliott did a nice job on the start. He, he did. He might win this stage. Sadler right in behind Kyle Busch, side by side for third. That's Eric Jones outside of Kyle Larson, near contact there. Bounce wow. it off Kyle Larson in that orange 42 car. Kyle's looking for the win as well. Sadler goes high and it turns three and four. That's Kyle Busch down low. And Kyle Larson, he had a big run off of turn two to gain a lot of spots. He looks like he has a lot of speed for this short run. Here they come, back to the green and white checkered stage. One to Kyle Busch, Elliott Sadler, the top series regular. Jones able to get by Larson at the line for third. William Byron, the final car inside the top five. Ty Dillon, Cole Custer, Brennan Poole, Paul Bernard, and Daniel Hemrick. Your top ten stage one completed. Auto Club Speedway. Checkered flag highlighting his name top of the Fox box. And he's going to add a stage two victory to his Win column right here. Kyle Busch, two for two today in Southern California. Joey Logano finishes second. Eric Jones is third. Kyle Larson is fourth. And the first series regular in stage two, Elliot Sadler. He's done it twice today, finishing inside the top five in each of our first two stages. Ty Dillon is sixth. Paul Menard seventh. Cole Custer, Brennan Poole, William Byron also will get points here in stage two. So far, it's been the Kyle Busch show in Fontana, California, racing outside of the double zero of Cole Custer. Caution is out. Fourth one of the day here at Auto Club. It's for the four of Ross Chastain. And I saw Chastain all the way, almost off the track in turn four. Looks like he might have got a little bit of help right here. Yeah, I saw a tire mark on the side of Yaley's car, and that contact's probably enough to cut that left rear tire down, huh? Absolutely. Chevy gonna make easy work of Wallace. How far can this seven car go on those pressure tires? Oh, big wreck. Front oh, stretch. Car. He turned back down under you, hooked you. According to the spot, there was contact. Yeah, he hooked your left rear. He turned down on you. He rebound. Second week in a row, the two oh, cars crashed. crashed. And yeah, on fire. Got to get out of that thing as he heads down to turn one. It's probably an oil fire from the radiator being knocked out. Window net is down. Menard will climb out. Was scored in the fourth position when he hit the wall. Make sure he gets out okay. Then we'll take a look at the replay, see what happened. Heard the spotter traffic about some potential contact before he went into the wall. Uh, what we're seeing, or did Menard come up? Oh, looks like Paul left him a little bit of room, and I don't think Eric was anticipating that Paul was going to leave him a lane, and he tried to cross back underneath him, anticipating that Paul was going to slide up in front of him, and when that happened, there was not. Watch him on the exit. On board with Jones. Yeah, you're right, Brad. I Paul think that's, was... It's just a racing. I don't think there's anything intentional there. 
sometimes these type of things just happen. You know, everybody's, it's, a, it's like a school of fish sometimes when you're racing like this and you, you kind of take for granted that uh, where that other guy's gonna be. And when he makes a move that you don't expect, things get off timing sometimes and we run into each other. We heard Eric Jones, or we heard Paul Menard's opinion of what happened. He said that was dumb. Obviously, Paul left room for the for the 20 to take the outside. Be interesting to hear what the 20's opinion was. That's Eric Jones. Glad to see this fire goes out. That's never fun. That's my bad, I guess. Yeah, I don't know about that, man. He knows closing rate's gonna be insane right there. Good, bud, check it off. You know he tried to slide us. Well, actually he didn't, but you know, that's just the job of the spotter and the team. That's a coach, you know, they're coaching Eric Jones. Yep. They're saying, get that behind you. We got a race to go win. It's like throwing an interception. You go back to the, the bench and uh, the coach tells you, don't worry, it's gonna be off the pit lane. Problems for the 22 oh, of no. Joey Logano. Plus Red one for- up. Everybody at once. Put the tire down and lift the car up. They're not happy right now, as you can tell. Everybody at once, put the tire down and lift the car up. Everybody at once, put the tire down and lift the car up. Bam. Oh, looks like the jack fell out from underneath the car. And now they can't get it but lifted back up. Second time they've had problems today. Logano's led the most laps from the pole. 48 circuits out front. Speeding now earlier. they're still stuck on pit road. This is not good. They're in a lot of trouble. They might lose a lap. So the whole left side of the car is down on the ground, and you can't get a jack underneath it to raise it up. So as you can see, NASCAR allowed them to bring a second jack out to try to get the back of the car up to get the first jack in on the left side. The cars are exiting. And this definitely damaged the car. You can see the skirts are bent. So the car is up. They'll get the tires on. And he should stay on the lead lap. Just barely. Oh, Looks like the 18 might have just hit the wall. Replay right of your screen, right in front of Brennan Poole. Hello. Caution is oh, out. Big Look wreck. at this. Big hit for the rookie Cole Custer. Another fire. Cole Custer top of one and two here. Sixth caution of the day. Custer was in the 14th position when he hit the wall. I don't think he'd been outside of the top 10 most all day. Back in 14th season. Let's it's see what happened here. Oh, that's not a good angle to hit the wall at. I've been there. Obviously, it already gotten turned when we picked up the shot into the corner. Again, you see another oil fire. Whenever you take these big hits with the front end of the car, all of the, the oil is contained in that front radiator and it explodes. And easily ignites on fire. Wow, you can see just head on into the wall for the double zero car. This caution really good for Joey Logano, who had made up all those positions. Look at that wow. impact as he comes sliding through the bottom right corner of your there screen. There were two cars underneath him there, but that wreck almost see happened the on the straightaway, Brad. Yes. He, he went end to end. Look, top of your screen. Oh, the oh, car went down on him. Couldn't tell what car it was. A car moved down on Custer and turned him hard into the outside wall. Couldn't tell who it was, like Brad said, but that's what happened. There was contact. Side drafts, tries to get away from Larson. Larson chases him down the hill. Let's see if Joey tries to pull the slide job again. They got a slow car in front with the lap car, the 99. Oh, Joey sliding. Larson's in the wall. Wow, is he gonna make the pass while rubbing the wall? Can he use the 99 as a pick? Larson able to go to the outside. Logano fits in behind Joey Logano. Oh, yellow's out. Caution. Seventh of the day, it's for second year driver Brandon Jones. Pretty good left front, spinning the fence on the right side. Be ready here. Looks like somebody uh, might have come across his nose. He's running 12th when this happened down the front. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Four car links for Larson in front of Logano. Team Pinsky has never won here. And for Kyle Larson trying to win for the second time in Southern California, his home state first career win came here one, three years ago. It'll be all about lane choice down here in turns three and four. Larson lost some ground the last time through. Where does he go? Joey's gonna drive it in really hard in a lane up. He's gonna try and get a big run here off the corner and maybe a draft down the front stretch. 
Larson went low. Back to the line. Logano's got a run. Going to be a good finish here. Give it to Kyle Larson. He wins in California. Now then everybody good job. The pit crew was awesome. The team did a great job. Good job Kyle. Kyle Larson never disappoints behind the wheel. I would say Kyle did a heck of a job. What was really key was the last pit stop was important. He parked it. Kyle Larson in his home state of California wins for the second time. Congratulations from his team because it was a total team effort. Came back from a pit road speeding penalty, but from that point on, everybody was rock solid. How do you describe the race that we saw out there today? Uh, the race in there at the end with Joey was was awesome. Uh, I had you know, just a couple out fresher tires than he did, and was able to chase him down and just trying to be patient around him. Got by him and then made a mistake trying to block him off four, and he got back by and. Uh, that was that was a lot of fun though. I wish that last caution would have come out because it'd have been a lo little bit easier for me to win. I think, but um, a heck of a race. You know, I, I honestly didn't think that we'd be here uh, yesterday. Um, I was struggling bad in practice. Fought the balance actually a lot throughout the race too, and then finally there were those last two runs we hit on it and uh, felt good for the short run and throughout the long run. So can't say enough about everyone on our, our Enio Chevy team. Uh, good farewell gift to Kent from Enios. He's going back to Japan to work there. So, um, you know, we had his name on the side of the car, which is cool. So, uh, happy um, second win here in California. Hope we can do it again tomorrow. Less than 30 seconds. What kind of momentum does it give you tomorrow? Thanks. It's, uh, I hope it gives us some good momentum. I was really confident about our, uh, our target Chevy on the cup side. So, um, start from the pole tomorrow and hopefully be, uh, be right here tomorrow. Kyle Larson, the winner at California. Race fans, it's time for those most famous words in motorsports. Here to give the command from the upcoming Universal Pictures film, The Fate of the Furious, please welcome today's Grand Marshal, Scott Eastwood. You know what they say, if you ain't first, you're last. So drivers, start your jets! We're gonna find out. A couple hundred laps here, see who takes the victory lane. Buggity, buggity, buggity! Let's go racing, boys! Oh, trouble. Wow, that almost was a wreck. Already. Denny Three Hamlin did not get here. going, and look at him stack up in this traffic jam. Big heavy uh, damage to the left damage. rear of the two. Man, I don't know how he said, I don't know how, I don't know how Kazaski held on to that car. Inside lane on the initial start. Oh, he made contact with the 11 of Denny Hamlin. That held him up, and then the domino effect from behind with Newman made contact with the two. Yeah, Hamlin just didn't go, and Kazaski was ready, and. Well, I think the two pushed him a little bit and got the wheels up off the ground, the 11. Yeah, he just made a little bit too much contact on Denny Hamlin. But Hamlin's car did not take off no, at the green was, flag. A little, little sluggish. Two car as well as we go up here for third. Oh, these are a car around. Two car. Yeah, I think I... Left rear probably win. I think it did. Now we know why he was nursing it. I think he was probably feeling that coming. Running 18th, Brad Keselowski goes around. Oh, he's saying he got run over. It's Clint Boyer on the outside. He's stuck in the middle here between Clint That's, and oh the 13 and Ty Dillon, Jimmy Johnson from behind. Mm, yeah, I think Johnson might have tapped him a tad. But, you know, you talked to EW, he was nursing it, and because of that, others were taking advantage of it and putting him in a very vulnerable position. He had, he got loose, he had to check up. Jimmy's coming with momentum. More damage to the left. Uh, outside. <laughs> Boy, this is not the way you want to start a race. Oh my there God. Was four wide right there. Behind him, outside. Now, Keselowski was 17th. Jimmy Johnson was in a heck of a hurry. He did not get to qualify, had to start last. He was whipping his way through the field, and then he came up on that long Jimmy jam. Johnson's radio. I don't think I hit him very hard, but I did touch him. Dang it, sorry. All right, guys, I got hit in the back as well, so we're going to have to get, come in and take a look at it. I don't remember the rear contact yet. 
laps, 80 laps to finish it off. And Mike, these cars we're looking at right now. Oh, they, we got oh, a car what is that? Almost come around. Danica Patrick, so close to spinning out. And wow, we stay green. Up at turn number four. Lap cars high. Larson low. And Kyle Larson, who attended his first race at one week of age, crosses the line to get his first stage win under this new multi-stage format. Truex Elliott, McMurray, Kyle Busch, the top five. Here's a look at what happened to Danica Patrick. Contact with Michael McDowell, perhaps? Oh, yeah, Ooh, yeah a little bit. Really I tight those, racing action right there. I think those two have had a history sometime or another. So Kyle Larson is your first stage winner as the caution flag flies in Southern California. Ricky Stenhouse and Casey Kane got together. Oh, it just looked like Casey Kane came up to do a little side drafting, but ended up making contact with Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Here's uh, Casey Kane's radio after that. The bumps really affect me. Like when I hit a bump with the front, like it'll shoot me for the right, or shoot, like it can shoot me bad. So it's hard to hit bumps under throttle and not go a certain direction, which is either tight or loose at the end of it. Now that could be affected by the contact at the splitter or components underneath the car hitting the racetrack, or it could just be that maybe their suspension is a lot stiffer and, and losing some grip with the tires. Michael McDowell. Oh, the surf woody is slow down in the corner and smoke from the right side. Not sure if that's tailpipe or tire. tire oh, right like, front tire smoke. Looks like there right front is. tire, Mike. Yep. Todd Parrott, crew chief, for bringing that car in. It looks like it's just a right front tire down at this mm -hmm. corner. You'll see here. Yeah, got, got in the corner, and I think the I think the car the tire cut down. I think. Hard to say which came first. Yeah, it is. So we stay green, 73 laps in, and your stage two winner, coming off turn number four to the front straightaway, is going to be Martin Truex Jr. Ryan Blaney holds on to the lead lap. Kyle Larson. <laughs> Cliff Boyer, Huge lead. Chase Elliott, Eric Jones. What a lead. It was eight and a half seconds. Yeah, that 78 car in that, in that stage, Mike, he just had two tenths all the time. Two tenths, two tenths. Jamie McMurray, sixth. Kyle Busch, seventh. Joey Logano, Denny Hamlin, Brad Keselowski get stage points. Martin Truex in front. 67 laps to go. Time for a Fox NASCAR Southern California. Crank it on up. Joy in the uh, 83 got into the wall slightly. Got into it and can't get off of it. Once you get up there and get that debris on your tires, you just can't drive the car off the wall. It's got to kind of slow down enough to get get to where you can turn it down. 18 waiting for Kyle Busch to make his stop. Trouble on pit run with a 48. Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy Johnson. Johnson spun coming in, but this is a legal stop. The car is in the pit box. So he spun avoiding the 78 of Martin Truex, who was coming out of his pit. Watch Truex. this right here. Wow. Yeah, so, so Jimmy really cut 
The 78 Mark Truex a big break. Unfortunately, it cost him a lot of time on pit road doing it. There. Anybody else? What will they do? Caution. And that changes everything. Greg Galding brings out the caution flag with 21 laps to go. Boy, really tough break for Chase Elliott right there. That is not what he wanted to see happen. Nor I think what Kyle Busch wanted to no, see happen. He was content to go the distance without another stop and might have won this. The rookie from Virginia. Oh, this car just doesn't turn nope. up the track and into the outside wall there. Had the look of a maybe tire went down. Pretty even right there, guys. Drag race. Green flag. Levitt putting that nose right up against the door of the 42, trying to slow him down, and Kyle Busch looking. Everybody looking. The ooh, wiggle ooh. by Hamlin. Oh, gets Hamlin loose. got. Oh, man, Hamlin lost a get bunch of time oh, right there. Around Trouble goes Kenseth. Got to spin behind you. Oh. Hard hit with the right front for Matt Kenseth. Oh. Or left front, rather. They were just, uh, I think that uh, once again, uh, I, I am okay, but I want to say I'm okay as well as we can. Well, you can tell he's oh. had the breath knocked out of Matt Kenseth. Scary, scary impact. Well, there. you know what caused that? The 11 over there trying to get by the 42, and he lost control, and they had to bottle everything up. Five wide. McMurray right. up to the high side. Right up here, though, the 11 gets tries to get under the 42, and apparently must have lost it a little bit. Well, and actually, the 20 gets up. three wide in the middle of the 78. I don't know if they touched, but he just took the back end. Just got him a little bit loose. See, watch this 11 car. He's got, I he think he almost has the pass made. He's underneath Larson, but when Larson goes by him, sucks him a little bit loose, pushes him up the hill. He's got to get out of the gas, and here comes everybody. And yeah, that kind of roadblocks the outside lane. So watch the 20 and see if the, they make contact. Yeah, a little bit yeah. of contact between Mark Trix Jr. and the 20 of Kenseth. Boy, I tell you, and that's a hard lick right there for really Matt Kenseth. Really hard impact right here. You can see how this wall sticks out. But man, it's That's a lot where the better than used vehicles to be. are at, but thankfully there's a safer barrier there. Woo. Right in that left front. Now a number of drivers had taken the wave around to get back on. Inside, inside, time behind you, two wide top up top. Okay, that'll be a wreck. Three wide top. Three wide top. Red Keslowski <laughs> shoots right <laughs> through. <laughs> okay, that'll be a wreck. <laughs> Oh, it gosh. looks to me like Matt Kenseth realized the one of Jamie McMurray was coming on the outside. It's given him plenty of room. And, and at that same time, Truex was trying to make a move to his left rear, and they made contact. 21 only inside. So that's out. 17, back it up in a hurry here. Hold your line, hold your line, hold your line. It's still inside, 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 inside. Middle, middle, middle. Martin Truex audio. He's in eighth place now. We just together in a bad spot, I guess. Lead. Spin, yeah, turn out. two. Caution. Corey LaJoy. Jamie Little caught up with him when he left the care center. Well, Matt Kenseth been checked and released, and miraculously, you're okay for the second straight week. But what happened there once you got in the top five? Yeah, I, just, I didn't do a very good job of getting through the gears, which um, kind of got me in that spot. And the one got outside of me, and I started to leave enough room for him, and we were, we were coming up to three wide off of turn two. I just got hit in the left rear and got turned around. Under Denny Hamlin. Oh, trouble, 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 turn two. Ricky Stenhouse brings out the caution again. Now the question is, was Larson ahead? Yeah, uh, Denny Hamlin yeah, yeah, when I'm that caution sure. came out. Pretty At sure the last was. timing loop. Yeah. Guys. Boom. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Bane slid Watch up into the Stenhouse. Yeah. Watch this. Watch this guy coming down. Check up. Go high. Go out. Not yeah. sure if Casey, Casey Kane was involved or if he got away on that one. Keep saving. Keep saving. Keep saving. That, that always makes for an interesting Monday morning meeting with the teammates. Yeah, they were going to have two cars in the top 15. Not now. Look at Chip. No, he was so happy. And yeah. then what? It's Not again. It's never easy. He will have earned this one. Yesterday's winner. He's been out front most of today. 106 laps. Green flag. Boy, the, once again, the 11 didn't get a great start. 
But I tell you, that 78 is pushing There's Larson the into the corner. He's down the under. to the inside. That's going to block the two. Whoa, though. it's going to get a little tight. Yeah, that's exactly what Larson Here wanted comes, to look see. Look at Boyer. Here comes Boyer to second. Battling Keslowski with Larson out front. Logano looking for racing room in the middle. A lot of jostling mid pack. Yeah, once that 70, oh, that 42 is long gone. Once you get that kind of lead, it's, everybody's bottled up back here. You're not going to catch him. Truex to fourth. McMurray fifth. Down on the grass is Ryan Blaney. Boy, this is such tense racing when you're trying to come to the checkered flag, fighting for position. White flag. Woo! You, now you just pack it in there and hope it sticks. <laughs> Remember Brad and Keselowski four, five, won here two back years here. ago, leading only the last lap. Back straight away, final time. I think we're past the low overtime line. I think we're good to go here. And it looks like uh, Mr. Larson is coming home. Keselowski dives to the bottom. Not close enough. The California kid, Kyle Larson, brings it off. Turn number four. He, Chip Ganassi, and Chevrolet are going to victory lane in Fontana. Good job, buddy. You better belt that thing down. Brad Keselowski second. Clint Boyer third. Truex fourth. Logano fifth. That's a yeah. Great job, boys. That's There's a, your top 10, top of the screen. That's a clean sweep for that 42 car for Larson. One yesterday, one today, one the pole. Look at the number 11, you'll see why. You think four wide works in the final corner? I don't think so. Boy, they just used them up right there. Oof. And Junior made a little contact there as yep. well. He was battling for 11. I think Mark Truex Jr. deserves uh, a lot of credit for bringing his car home in fourth by staying out. Kyle Larson is now finished in the top two for the last four races. 22 targets Chevrolet dominated this race. The first favorite to win this year. The fifth race of the season in victory lane. Matt Yoakum is there. He first won at California Sister Track, Michigan. Team effort. Chip Ganassi Racing. A hug from the boss. Thanks. Kyle, what were you thinking as each caution kept coming out? Six there in the final uh, third of the race. Um, I was staying as calm as I could be, and, and uh, but also frustrated at the same time. It seems like every time I get to the lead at the end of one of these things, a caution comes out, and I gotta fight people off on restarts. But uh, our target Chevy was amazing all day. Uh, we were able to lead a lot of laps today. Um, Truix was better than us that second stage by quite a bit. Uh, we were able to get the jump on him uh, the, the following restart, and you know, led pretty much the rest of the distance. So I had to fight him off there after the green flag stops, and uh, that was a lot of fun. But uh, um, can't thank Target enough, Credit One Bank, uh, all of our partners, uh, Chip Ganassi, Rob Coppin, Felix Sabatas. I hope you're feeling better at home. Uh, wish, you, wish you were here. Um, this is just amazing. We've been so good all year long and, and you know, three seconds in a row. And uh, I've been watching all the TV like, you know, him. he doesn't know how to win. But uh, we knew how to win today, so that was good. You feel like the pressure's off because this was a total team effort. The over-the-wall guys were stellar. Great calls from on top of the box. Yeah, no doubt. We, uh, or I made a mistake early in the race and lost a lot of track position um, sliding through my box, but they, they had awesome pit stops all day long. Great pit stops there at the end, especially. And um, you know, our restarts were good. I spent my tires on a couple of them. Had to, you know, drag race uh, Denny and Kyle into turn one, but uh, we had a good last restart. Got some clean air and uh, came on to the win. So, like I said, can't thank everybody up here enough and everybody at the shop too. Um, they've been working their tails off uh, all off season and it's carried over into this year. So it's uh, spectacular all the hard work's paying off. Thank you. And Martin Truex Jr. led 73 laps today, brought it home fourth. If you got those new tires at the end, would you had a shot at that? I'd like to find out. I mean, I thought uh, I thought we had as good a car as, as the 42 all day at times and sometimes better. So just depended on the road and the set of tires. I felt like we were better at times. and. I feel like he was better at times. Just really seemed like whoever got out front had a, had a little advantage. But uh, all in all, it was a good day. You know, sometimes you make the right call, sometimes you don't. Today we didn't. But you know, to uh, to still be able to come home fourth was uh, you know definitely a good way to end it. So 
sucks when you have to play defense at the end of these things. Uh, you always want to be the guy on offense. It's so much more fun. But you know, just a, a great job by everybody uh, all weekend on this Bass Pro Shops Tracker Boats Toyota. Uh, TRD horsepower was amazing, and uh, you know we were able to get some good points today. So all in all, it was a success. Just uh, just stumbled a little bit there at the end when it mattered, and uh, you know it's just the way it goes. But uh, you know we got got together with the 20 on that that one restart there, and uh, feel feel awful about that. I you know, I don't know whose fault it was. I, I think we were both kind of moving at the same time. I was still coming up. He started to come down. We got together, so I obviously got to go talk to him. Feel terrible about that, but um, all in all, it was uh, it was a decent day. Thanks, Martin. Vince? Brad Kozlowski brings it home second with a bunch of damage on the car. How'd you come back from that early incident in the trouble? Uh, just great perseverance by uh, the team here at the Worth Ford Fusion. Uh, wanted to win, but, you know, I got out of the car and looked at the, the damage. This thing's torn to pieces. I feel lucky to get second. And curious to see what we could have done if we weren't torn up, but a uh, great day for us to, to really persevere to, despite adversity. You're just going to have that in a 36 race uh, season, so uh, it's a really important characteristic for your team. and. Uh, proud of him for that. Hard fought second place for Brad Kozlowski. And Clint Boyer brings it home in the top five, third. How good does this feel? It's been a long time since you've been battling up there up front with the guys. Yeah, it has. Uh, you know, been beat up pretty bad lately and over the last year and a half or so. It felt good to just be a part of, of the camera shot again, you know, and, and to have uh, Russ Truck Centers on board. Rusty is a good friend of everybody at Sewer House Racing. Meant a lot to me to, to have him up front. I had a lot of people here in the suite and everything for them. But just thank you, Gene Haas, Tony Stewart, for giving me this opportunity to be in this 14 car, to have uh, teammates like I have with Kevin Harvick, you know, Danica and Kurt Busch. I mean, it's just, uh, it's incredible. It's, it's so much fun again, you know, to be up there and in competitive cars and, and uh, you know, to be, to be battling that again. Those cautions came, you knew all hell was going to break loose. It did, um, you know, it was just a lot of fun. It, it really was. Uh, just everybody that's a part of this, uh, you know, from Mobile One to Monster, everybody's part of Stuart Haas Racing. Um, it's fun, man. Great to see you up front. Hopefully that's the beginning of many more to come. Chris?